goes on their rally to close regulation. What was said in, in the huddle to, to regroup and go once again back on attack mode to start the overtime and close them out? Uh, well, we felt like we gave up that lead too easily and down the stretch, just a few miscues, a few miscommunications, just things that we want to clean up. So, you know, we got to take this one on the chin, <laughs> just like anything else. It just, I don't want to call it laziness, but just our focus level wasn't matching the intensity in terms of where uh, San Antonio was trying to get back in the game. Felt like we had the game one in regulation. I think we all can agree with that. Um, but, you know, sometimes nights like this take overtime. And I think it's been, what, 19, 20 years since we got a win here. So another history or another <laughs> historical record out the window for our team, which I'm grateful to be a part of. Um, you know, so it's a great team, team accolade um, coming to San Antonio and just getting a win. You, you obviously with your teammates are trying to build something special in Brooklyn. When you look at a team like San Antonio and their, you know, years of success and what they have been able to do, you know, what do you draw from that as you and your teammates put your own stamp on building something special in Brooklyn? Uh, well, I think first and foremost, you got to give credit to the leadership that they've established here in terms of that culture. Um, you know, San Antonio is known as a winning organization, and that, that's exactly uh, part of our goals here is to set that standard for years to come. So the next generation that comes in, um, you know, understands an example of, of what a great team looks like, uh, you know, has an established, uh, you know, role playing culture, but also we're very flexible and um, very understanding. And then we have a standard of greatness, standard of excellence. It's just we want to meet that standard. I, and I think every day we get a chance to prove that to one another. So uh, San Antonio has definitely been one of those great teams as an, as an example in our league that we can learn from. And we'll continue to do so as long as Pop's at the helm. And, you know, you got those five championships <laughs> up there hanging. You know, it's a reminder every time you step in San Antonio of what excellence looks like. So, Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, two parts for me. Uh, you did almost let it get away at the, in the fourth quarter, but overall, when you look at this game, it was such an improvement over the Mavericks game with the way you guys played defense and only five turnovers. What accounted for that, uh, number one? And then also, secondly, uh, how big a role did uh, Bruce Brown play, especially in the second half for you guys? Yeah, well, absolutely. You know, I could agree with, uh, you know, in you in, in terms of the difference in games, uh, but it, it really comes down to our execution. You know, I don't want to be cliche with that word execution because, you know, every team wants to have a high level of execution. Uh, but for us, we feel like our execution is when we're playing free and we're playing the right way and the ball's hopping and we're all feeling good um, about the pace that we're playing at. You know, other teams, when they dictate the pace, dictate the pace against us, it you know, it, it's hard to kind of adapt. So we, we want to put our own um, mark on the game by staying physical uh, and, and continuing to play the right way. Extra passes, you know, um, spreading back. And there's just no easy baskets. And I feel like San Antonio got a lot of easy baskets tonight, which is why I believe the game was as close as it was. Um, so we just want to continue to improve uh, moving forward to this Houston game for All-Star break. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie, huge game from Nick tonight. Um, I think career high in points. Can you talk about what you've seen from him behind the scenes that you, that might have led you guys to believe that he was capable of this type of game? Uh, well, I mean, being being in this role, there is, you know, you, you're always in the public eye anytime you go outside. So, uh, you know, behind the scenes for us is when we get to work on, on our games and uh, be able to perform out there at a very high level. And he's been hurt, um, you know, and I said it the last time I, I somebody asked me about Nick. Uh, you know, for me, I just want him to continue to learn, continue to progress. And what was separated him uh, in the last few weeks is just his attentiveness and his focus and his commitment to getting on the floor and earning his playing time. You know, that's the big thing here is just earning your playing time. Uh, we got a lot of great guys that can go out there and fill spots. Uh, but Nick being the, <laughs> the younger guy, sort of say, you know, we just want him to learn uh, from the best of the best and what it takes to be. Uh, the best of the best, and he, he's he's taking the tools and applying it. So you just want to continue to do well, um, as well as the other guys. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Harry, through through the frame of being a 
longtime lifelong Nets fan and also a, a student of the game that you've kind of talked about tonight was James Harden's seventh triple double. Only Jason Kidd has had more for the Nets franchise. Can you just contextualize that, what you see from him um, to lead to that kind of uh, output so quickly, being so familiar with the Nets history? Yeah, uh, I think we have to implement the phrase, get used to it. Um, you know, when someone's that special, someone's that talented, someone's that gifted, and they're able to, um, you know, do all fast as the game at a very high level, they're able to play, um, you know, at a very high level, and he's been displaying that. And it, and it makes it easier for me. I'm sure other guys can echo the sentiment. When James is being James, it, it makes all our job a lot easier. And, um, you know, we, like I said, we got to get used to somebody special like that doing you know, things like that in terms of breaking records. So I, I can't wait to be right alongside him with my name in Nets history, um, you know, alongside KD, alongside BB, alongside Joe, alongside all the guys on our team where we're just breaking records as a team. And then individually, you know, we're stacking up with some of the best to ever play. So that's that's a pretty great uh, childhood dream to accomplish. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Bruce Beck, NBC New York. Kyrie, uh your no look pass to DeAndre and your lob to Claxton. Uh, how much satisfaction do you derive from those types of plays over scoring 40 in a game? It's basketball, but you, you know, you, you see so many exciting plays that uh, kind of get tossed in, in the possession because <laughs> uh, the NBA game is so quick. So when you get to, you know, have a highlight play, you know, my, my thing is always, you know, you could have a million dollar move, but you got to have a million dollar finish. You don't want to have a five cent finish or anything like that. And as long as those bigs are, are catching those passes, I'm throwing them in the right place. I'm just as excited as they are. Um, you know, so that, that's definitely a part of the game where I, I definitely feel uh, like it gives me great joy too, seeing them do well. Ryan Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Kai, following up on James, uh, two quick ones. I mean, after the last game, where he was, he said he was disappointed with how many turnovers he had, and for him to come out today and have the thirty-point triple double, have no turnovers. I mean, hey, does that just kind of, I don't know, underscore just how I guess dedicated to the craft and how much of a perfectionist he is? And secondly, you know, in case we don't get a chance to talk to anybody tomorrow, uh, do you get the sense that him going back to Houston? I mean, is there going to be a lot of added excitement for him getting to go back to Houston? Seen it all, been through it all, experienced it all. There's not anything that we can't power through. That's the glory of God right there. We're excited to play basketball, go back to where James had a great career. We're looking forward to the experience, looking forward to having fun. It's going to be high competitive, a lot of great players, no animosity on the court, just greatness on display. Everybody at home, enjoy the game. my presence or anybody else's presence. So we're coming to Houston to enjoy the game of basketball and play it at a high level on behalf of James and the rest of the guys, because we know it's a, it's a special night regardless, you know, going back to where you started it all, or, you know, kind of where he started making the huge jump in his career. Hey, we, we know what it means for everybody on the outside, but internally we're just going to have fun and play the game that we love.